Hello guys, Swayfam are back here with another Farming Simulator 50 video. <coughs> Today I uh, thought we uh, could do some tutorials in the game instead of just uh, playing the ordinary uh, ca carrier mode. <coughs> just a short video with the tutorials. You see, I have already done some when I got the game. So I thought we do the first six here. It's twelve of them, so uh, let's start. <coughs> and I uh, have to say, <laughs> right now I hate the plow in the <coughs> farming simulator. It's hopeless. You can't get any straight lines, and uh, so and. Uh, the problem with uh, this game is that you really need the plow if you have cedar grass. It's the only way to get the field back, and you can't use a helper. So uh, often when I have cedar grass, I save a, a piece around the field where I have seed instead, and then plow in the middle. Right, let's start. So, and for this mission we have the beautiful New Holland T8320 with a 1600 kilos front weight and this green plow it's uh, Amazon and I actually didn't know Amazon did plows because I have never seen one in Sweden and the uh, another thing with uh, <laughs> these tutorials is that uh, this uh, info comes up all the time as quick as you start to uh, connect any machinery right let's turn the plow so it's the right way gonna go here and as you see here if I load the plow here it will not start to plow because I haven't put it to allow to create fields which you must have it to uh, if you uh, are uh, doing new field or uh, <coughs> plowing up the grass so as you can see here I can drive right forward here and nothing happened if I however press O like I did now and lower it I can plow the grass as you see but I'm gonna turn it off and it doesn't matter because this is uh, a tutorial so nothing of this will sell and uh, plowing in this game uh, from the cab is uh, near to impossible because you will most likely miss a lot of the field and as I said it's very hard to get straight lines right 25% ah, wrong uh, as you see up in the right corner uh, we have uh, the meter how, uh, which tells us how much we have done and as I said uh, uh, said it's uh, <coughs> about now we are maybe 40% through After this uh, time, we're gonna be 50% through, I guess. So, And up we go. Yes, we are fifty percent through now. 
So you, uh, <laughs> as you <laughs> already guessed, maybe we not gonna need to uh, plow the whole field. And I think it's neither of the missions we need to, uh, or tutorials we need to uh, do the whole field. As uh, it's it's a while since I did this, but I think it is so. And this map is, of course, if you didn't know it, the uh, Bjorn Hall, the original map, or standard map, or what you want to call it. It's the map uh, they have uh, put uh, the most of the efforts in. The game can, uh, comes with uh, two maps, Bjorn Holm uh, and uh, West Hill Bridge. Or West, uh, I think it's West Bridge Hills or, or something like that. The American map. This is a Scandinavian map. So, uh, and then uh, we got some Noska with the Gold Edition update. So, uh, the game uh, will have three maps if you have all the updates. <coughs> and all the tutorials will, of course, uh, be on Bjorn Hall. And uh, none of the mods I have in the game will uh, work in the tutorials. As uh, I have a mod called Real Terrain in my uh, mods folder, which make uh, the wheels sink down in the plow furrow when I plow. And as you see, they don't do it now. Will this be enough? Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh, that, that's just annoying. <laughs> it may be enough I sink the plow or... No? There. That tutorial was done. Now it's time to seed the field. And this looks like we're gonna use the same tractor, which I think is a bit uh, overkill of what you wanna call it, because that series is only 3 meters and requires 100 horsepower. This tractor is over 300, so uh, yeah, and the front weight is uh, <laughs> not needed, if you ask me. But we gonna need to hook it up anyways. So oh. wrong machine. So I turn it off. So Driving a lot outside, hey? Yes. <laughs> well, <coughs> for this tractor, I should have used the <coughs> if it's. <coughs> if this was me, I should have used the Vedesta Rapid, the 6 meter. It should be more uh, uh, good <coughs> machinery for that tractor. If you look at the power. And I think it's revving way too, <coughs> too high. Oh, we've got something in my throat. I'm sorry for that. <coughs> oh, 
So uh, you have you hear the the revs of the engine, and uh, I think it's very way it's too high RPM. Because that is a good thing with the, or the <coughs> great thing with the farming simulator 50. You hear now I turn off the sida when I turn it on the end and then rev uh, races like uh, you do when you using uh, P2 machines uh, in real life too. You uh, uh, rev up the engine. To get to the right uh, uh, speed on the P2 and such thing. And here we see the canolas you see. And we are almost 50% through now. So, uh, gonna need to drive. This is a fifth draw, so I think we're gonna need to drive five more. Then, I guess. And you can use this if you want to, but uh, the uh, <coughs> I don't like them because, as you see, that it's it's not like it was uh, a narrow uh, uh, line in Dilda. It was uh, quite uh, <laughs> uh, thick. So as I said, we're gonna do the first six here, I think, and then do the last six in another video. And this is maybe not the video you uh, like to see, but uh, I was not uh, very uh, <coughs> interesting in to do any gameplay today, or right now anyway. So. Uh, I thought I could do some tutorials and uh, and that and I uh, hope you uh, <laughs> like it anyway so 75% is gonna take a while I'm guessing 3 more draws maybe not gonna be enough with two, I think. I'm not gonna need to see the whole field anyway. And up now. I'm. I think I'm not gonna need to drive another f uh, full lane to uh, get it uh, done. But this is not gonna be enough, I think. No. And down. And in the Farming Simulator 2011, the, uh, the missions is timed. Let me see if I can do so, uh, any that too. Uh, later on. 
of the mission and uh, maybe some gameplay there too. Right now we're gonna spread with this tractor again, the new Holland and the uh, Amazon sprayer. So uh, the canola has started to came up. Strangely enough, we don't get any front weight to this this time, which is kind of strange because I think this uh, sprayer uh, weighs way more than the uh, <coughs> cedar. And this spray is like 24 meters or something, so I. Uh, Guessing it's just like uh, two two draws, and then we're done. Something like that. Turn it on there. And as I have said in my gameplays, wider machinery is often more uh, easy to drive from the cab, as you see the edges on the. Uh, whole other uh, uh, dimension of what you want to call it. It's much much easier. Shall we see if we can turn without putting the ramp in any uh, in any uh, trees? And as you see, I uh, can lower and hide the ramp. Let's see. Really want to be edge to edge. With the run. Is that good? No, it isn't, but uh, that will do. I'm doing a lot of overlap there. Need to get out a lot here. There, maybe. Still over spray. And of course the game gonna force me to do that last bit there too. Almost there. Right, this tutorial is done. Let's move on to the fur harvesting with the very big harvester. But it's not the biggest, I think. I think that is what can that be 25 feet or something? Or 30, I think. 35, I think it is. Because the biggest is 41 or 42 feet. And uh, <coughs> this time we're gonna use real machinery. As I am a really case man. Case is, <laughs> is really the best thing for me. <laughs> we all have different f favorites. As if you see uh, anyone uh, playing from uh, the, <coughs> the UK, they often like uh, uh, the Macy Ferguson. I'm not saying all do that, but uh, many of them do that. And uh, I mean, I have been working in uh, in uh, England for uh, three months, 2009, and I know that uh, <laughs> MF is, uh, as we said, is one of the uh, uh, <coughs> biggest brand on the farms there. I mean, I saw a lot of. Of farms with the uh, cases on too, and as well as John Deere's. Not as much uh, Fent and uh, that stuff when I was there, but uh, I think that is started to come there too. Right, and I lower it down and start harvesting. And when I look at the <laughs> amount in the tank, I guessing uh, the canola will not fit in the tank 
which is strange because Sutton's is a very good harvest here. I don't think I have got uh, that good harvest in this map when I have played it in single player on this field and I have done exactly as the low hay except I didn't plow it but that shouldn't have any effect So that uh, is not gonna fit in the tank. That's for sure. I'm already at seventy five percent. Not losing the whole uh, wind of the head there. Raise it up. And reverse. So. So I'm gonna need to go and empty it. So I'm gonna do pipe out. So, uh. <coughs> And over here we have a beautiful case magnum and uh, I think it's a Kemper trailer, I'm not sure. And as you see the nice with this harvest is that I can uh, uh, move the pipe end to put it where I want in the trailer. And that is a camper trail. And the nice with this harvest is that I actually can see the pipe end. Not all harvests you can do that. It's not sinking in the tank because it's not moving. That's strange. I really should have uh, want to have uh, a button to uh, uh, rev up the engine so it will uh, <coughs> empty quicker. In the farming simulator 2011, I used the uh, case harvester uh, uh, mod uh, the, that the uh, knag, knag instead, I think you pronounce it, made. Uh, KCH2388 harvester. And that was uh, full with the uh, function like that, which was really nice. When you uh, rev up the engine, it uh, it uh, emptied the tank quicker and all that, and you had to uh, set it up for every crop. Different crop needed uh, different settings on the harvester, which was really cool. Right, over seventy-five percent now. So I'm guessing uh, it's gonna be enough to just do this lane to the end. Or if he wants me to harvest the whole field, I don't know. It's gonna be done right now, I think. Yes, it is. So we're gonna go to tutorial 5. Cultivating. Much more fun than the plowing. As you uh, always get straight lines. You can't uh, make 
make new feel with it, but uh, it's much fun to drive. And as a user, we're gonna use the new Holland. And this is a uh, Vogel knot. I don't <laughs> really know how to pronounce it. I think it's a uh, uh, Italian or France cultivator. I uh, not sure. So uh, I'm gonna lower it and start to cultivate. And we are already almost 25% uh, so uh, I guess it's gonna be enough with uh, 5 uh, lens back and forward to uh, do this. And the wheels of the cultivator speeds, <laughs> but I guess it's because of the speed. And we are over 50% now. And I missed a piece there. No worry. <laughs> It's just a tutorial, so as I said before, nothing gonna say, so it doesn't matter. This is just to uh, the tutorials are made to show uh, new, uh, new to the game how uh, it works. In uh, the 2011, it actually was uh, a bit more fun if you ask me, because it was missions. I never uh, owned the 2013 edition so I can't answer any question about how it was there but uh, in 2011 it was missions and you could uh, it was timed and you could uh, get uh, medals for it bronze, silver or gold right we're gonna do the last uh, mission here the square bearer and I need to press 12 bells so uh, <coughs> this actually uh, counts bells not uh, how much they have done right and this is the same New Holland tractor as before with uh, New Holland big bells 1290 I have uh, <laughs> often it's not gonna uh, say big bell on the side when I have seen it. It's just gonna say uh, BB most likely. And uh, strangely enough, this was already hooked up. It's not gonna uh, <laughs> used to be that in there. All right, let's see down and turn it on. So. And it's filling up quick, so it's uh, gonna go pretty quick. And it's quite easy to miss some straw when you drive in with the big bailer. Or a bailer <coughs> in general. Right, three bells already. If I can get three bells per line, it's good.
now we are at 50% I have made 6 bells 7 bells and 8 bells 9 bells Let's see if we can get the last three from this straw spot. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Right. <coughs> That was uh, all I gonna show you today. In next video we gonna do the last uh, six I have a couple here I didn't have do three of them but uh, <coughs> the I will uh, see you then and uh, if you like the video leave a like and uh, comment if you <laughs> want something or have any questions and if you're not subscribed please do that so uh, see you next time bye